Yeah, you just where you start with taking us through that play where you caught it and ran it 75 yards. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, it's just a little tunnel screen. You know, we run that every day in practice. So um, I think it just, you know, comes down to executing. Uh, you know, Noga had an amazing block. You know, that play doesn't get started without him. So I want to give a real shout out to him. You know, I hope everyone, you know, understands that. Um, but you know, when guys do their job, you know, big plays like that happen. So, you know, I'm excited, but I'm just more excited for this team to help us get a win. When did you think of that play? It was, it was, it was going to the end zone. Uh, really, when I, when I caught it, I saw that open up, I'm like, yeah, there's no one going to catch me. So I just had to make one miss, and after that, you know, the, the rest was all, all day late. Try to catch up to Silas. You know, that reminded me, I'm not sure if you guys remember uh, Tyreek Hill catching, I uh, can't remember his name, but the running back, like 40 yards downfield, you know, me and him trying to just race to the, to the end zone. So, um, you know, it, it's fun, a fun experience, and, uh, you know, it, it's fun to be out there with your brothers doing that. What did you think of the performance today? Did you feel like you guys were sharp, or did you feel like it's, eh? Uh, yeah, I say it's a little 50-50. There were definitely some things, you know, we need to clean up and execute on. Um, but, I mean, we did our job, so, you know, we got to win, but there's always stuff you can learn from. You know, it wasn't the best uh, offensive performance. Um, defense, you know, they played lights out today, um, how, how they continue to play. So, um, yeah, I mean, we got stuff to clean up offensively, and, you know, I think, you know, just take it week by week. First time uh, press into the fourth quarter as you can pack 12 play. How, how much should that help you first moving forward? Oh yeah, I think it just goes to show, you know, it's, it's a four quarter fight and, you know, it doesn't matter how much time is left, you know, there's there's still time on that clock. So, um, you know, being up a couple scores at, at that point, you know, we really needed, we realized that we needed to go out there and, you know, put some more points on the board to really, you know, put this thing away. So, um, I mean, it, it helps a lot because, you know, going into Pac-12, um, everyone's good this year. You know, there's not one team that's, you know, just really just far behind anyone else. So uh, it's going to be a battle, you know, week in and week out. And, you know, you're going to have to play football for four quarters. And um, I think we did that today. Like you mentioned, obviously not the best outcome for the offense. But what does it mean to be able to, you know, just prove it to yourself that you guys are just one play away from finding the end zone? Uh, I mean, I think that's something that we all know. You know, we got guys on, on this team and, you know, from quarterback to, you know, O-line to receiver to running back, tight end, you know, we all, we, we got guys in the room. So, um, you know, we all do our part to create explosives and, you know, I think it's good to see, um, you know, we don't have to go make a nine, ten play drive when we can go out and do it in one. So, um, it's good, you know, tempo wise for us, um, but obviously, like I said, we got, we got more stuff to clean up and um, we'll dive into this film tonight, tomorrow and digest and on to Washington State. Anthony, I know that this was obviously your first week back after sitting out last week. How good did you just, first of all, feel to get back on the field, you know, after sitting out for week two? Man, I love playing ball. So anytime I'm not out there, you know, I'm frustrated. Um, whether it be practice, games, you know, I, I'm a ball player. I love playing ball. So, um, you know, that, that feels amazing, you know, just, just to be able to do my part, um, you know, with everyone else on, uh, on the squad. Um, you know, I, sometimes I feel like when I'm not out there, you know, I'm, I'm putting our team at risk, not at risk in that sense, but, uh, you know, I'm just not out there being able to contribute. And, you know, that, that irritates me a lot. Um, but, you know, being out there with the guys, you know, there's nothing like it, and I'm just glad we got a, got a win today. I know you're a pretty humble guy, but you were three yards short from a 100-yard receiving game today. I mean, did, three yards short? Three, three yards short. Does this something make you, you know, do you, do you sometimes wish that, hey, can I just get one more ball my way? I know probably in the moment you don't know that, but, you know, as a receiver, you want to do as much as you can. Do you sometimes wish you could just get that little extra yardage where the yards and stats not really matter to you really much in this game? Uh, as long as I can, we get a win, it doesn't matter. I, did, I, I thought I got 100. I didn't know I was three yards short, so, you know, that sucks to hear, but. <laughs> Sorry to be the <laughs> I'm glad we got the win at the end of the day, so you know that's all that matters. You know, one thing that I've watched over the last three weeks from you guys down in San Jose State, you know, taking on UC Davis and now San Diego State, is that DJU is not afraid to throw the ball downfield. How much confidence like, does that give you and the rest of the receiving core that even when he throws, you know, a deep pick or something like that, that he can shake it off and then come back on the next drive and make a different, another big play like the play to you, 25 yards down, and you guys can just keep rolling and taking those shots as much as possible, just whatever it takes to get the yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, we put a lot of work in to have that, that trust and that confidence. And, you know, it's a two-way street, you know. So, um, you know, it's, it's it's been fun to, wor to work with him. Like I said, we got some stuff to clean up. Um, but, I mean, yeah, he's, he's a hell of a ball player. And, you know, I, I'm glad we got that guy back there.
staying on the topic of DJ, obviously he's been pretty clean so far this season today, being that outlier with the two interceptions. What type of you know quarterback is he when he does have those mistakes? Do you guys feel like you have to pick him up, or is he you know to himself kind of locked in and shake it off himself? Yeah, I mean you got to you got to flush it. You know, there's not much else you can do. Um, and that's something that we all just we all collectively as a unit, um, you know, we remind each other whether that's you know we get a false start penalty or uh, interception or drop ball, flush it, it's on to the next play. You know, we know what we can do offensively. So, I mean, yeah, it, it sucks at the moment, but it's full college football is a long game. So, um, you got four quarters to play, and you just gotta just forget about things sometimes. Good.